Hey everybody, Narain here. Happy Saturday. Just want to say thank you so much to the generous donors we've had so far. Um, private message and um, mail us 3D resin for our, uh, our 3D printer. We've been busy at work printing these Bellis 3D mask fitter frames uh, and also these custom made N95 Montana mask DIY uh, respirators actually. And, and so the whole point of this is to help healthcare workers that don't have access to really good PPE yet, that's personal protective equipment. Uh, and, and here's the issue. The issue is that you have these level one ear loop masks, uh, level one because this provides the lowest amount of, of, uh, of protection or filtration. Uh, this is from my office. So this happens to be a level one mask. They, you have level two and you have level three as well. Uh, and, and, and here's the issue. If you put one of these on, you can basically see here that there's gaps on either side. Uh, and you wanna have something that, that fits better. And that's kind of the point of what the Bellis Frame does. And so this is a free app that you can download. This is completely free. You go to Bellis 3D on the App Store. It's, uh, it only works with an iPhone or an iPad because it, it works off of the cameras that are on the front um, of an iPhone 10 or better. And so what you do is you scan your face with the app, you hit Mask Fitter, and it'll basically propose and output a frame that looks like this. And so it's fit to your face. And the way that you actually use this is you basically put this mask on and work with any mask here, a level one, a level two, or a level three mask. And then basically I'm just gonna go over here, put this on. There we go. So now I have a really good fit around my face on the mask and there's going to be very little um, debris or aerosols that are going to go in the side. So that's kind of how this works. Let's take this off. The other option that we have is that we've been custom making these DIY N95 respirators. These are called Montana masks. So there's a bunch of different options online if you see. Um, there's sites like Thingiverse where you can download these for 3D printers. But the problem with, is that with most of the 3D printed ones, they're not custom made. So they come in small, medium, and large, and you can 3D print it on any 3D printer, even like a hobby-based 3D printer. But when you print it out, it may not fit your face. So what, what um, we've been doing is uh, we came up with a process to actually use that Bellis 3D scan and create a custom facial mask about five millimeters that is custom fit to the particular person and then in the CAD design software, we merge the small, medium, and large Montana mask with this custom face mask. And kind of what you get is something that looks like this. And, and this area over here has been custom fit to my face. So when I put this on, it fits really well. I can breathe. And when I actually, if I cover the front, it has a perfect peripheral seal around the edge. So we know that nothing's getting past it because it's actually custom fit. Um, the filter pieces are basically, you can put any filter in here you want. Um, there's a study that I'm gonna post a link to that was done at George Washington University about these 3D printed DIY masks. Um, and they use um, MERV 13 or MERV 16 um, HVAC filtration paper. So this, this paper actually was able to source uh, from Amazon before this, all this stuff really happened. Um, this happens to be MERV 13. Uh, we're using three layers. Uh, there's some controversy as to the fact that some HVAC filters use uh, fiberglass. Um, the George Washington study says uh, MERV 13 rarely uses fiberglass, but MERV 16 does. Uh, but as an alternative, you can take a surgical mask like this, a level three, you can cut it and you can put it into this custom made mask. So basically you just put the paper in like this, you go in from the inside, you basically pop that in and you have a custom mask so because of the generosity of um, several donors so far we have uh, plenty of resin in stock if you're a healthcare worker and you don't have access to the right uh, protective equipment and you're in front of patients please uh, direct message me um, or leave a comment below I'd be happy to help you make one of these and have, have it shipped out I'm actually on my way to the UPS store now uh, to ship frames out to Maryland, Florida, and Texas. So thanks very much. Uh, be safe, everybody.